Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Actually, this will be just a little quick look. I want to show you guys a feature that might be easily missed in Nano Studio 2 using the comb filter in Obsidian. Uh, basically, what I'm going to show you guys is how to create a sort of physically modeled synth sound. So using just pure synthesis, coming up with sounds that can sound like their acoustic instrument counterparts, but are generated just using pure synthesis. The first thing I'll show you guys is just a little quick demo. I'm using two sounds here from the two acoustic sound packs in Nano Studio 2. And the first one here is a pure synthesis uh, sort of acoustic guitar using the comb filter. All right, that's sort of a string or a plucked instrument sound that we generated with comb filter. And the next one is gonna be uh, sort of a wind instrument using the same filter, but slightly different methods. And I also added, this isn't physical modeling strictly speaking, but I also used some noise elements to add the sort of breath and air aspects. So yeah, as you hear there, it's you know not exactly a completely realistic sound. Um, obviously, you're going to have more mileage with you know properly sampled multi samples, uh, but that's both difficult to do and you know takes time and space. Whereas with physical modeling, you can come up with a fairly full featured sort of acoustic sound, but without you know having to mess around with multi samples. So. You know, with experimenting with this, you can come up with all sorts of interesting things, you know, whether or not they sound realistic or more synthesized. So with this quick tip, I'll just show you guys how to basically set this up. I'm going to create a knit patch, so we'll start from scratch. I'll show you basically how to get started doing a sound like this. So the first thing we'll do is we can use any kind of oscillator type, but just to show you how easy it is, we'll actually just use a noise oscillator. It won't be actually generating the tone at all. Just noise. And the next thing I want to do is just take an E and V, make a quick little envelope there, just so I can get a, a tick sound out of the noise oscillator. And I'll map that to the level and ride the level down so that the envelope now controls the level. There you go. All I have is a tick. All right, so that's my starting point. And for the first filter, I guess I will load up my comb filter, which is going to do all the dirty work here. And as I ride it down, don't really hear that much. It's not until you jack up the resonance that you start getting a tone coming in there. And I can't quite remember exactly the frequency that creates a you know properly in tune instrument. Uh, I think it's 64 something, something around that range. So what I could do is actually tune it. Ah, it looks like I'm more or less right on. Maybe a little off. Yeah, I'm right on. Okay. So you can have that sine wave underneath, but you can get rid of that. Actually, why not just have a little bit in there, add a little more depth. As you can hear already, it has some elements of a sort of plucked string instrument. And I change the, if I change the curve from the comb filter to, uh, from positive to negative, it has a, you know, quite a profound impact on the sound that's produced. Also, as I mentioned, we we're at 65.3 hertz, and that's sort of the sweet spot. If you go in multiples of that, you should be able to get a different flavor in sort of creating a higher octave or a higher harmonic uh, instrument. So doubling that, that's what? Roughly 130.6 hertz. And we can use that sine wave underneath to help tune. All right, and if we start adding some release 
to it from the uh, amp. And yeah, from there you can do all sorts of little small modulations to sort of build up a more and more, somewhat more realistic sounding instrument. You can add, you know, uh, pitch variance using an LFO, uh, randomization. I'll quickly show you. You can set up all sorts of randomizations with the simple key rand one or two. So this, you can create two random you can basically generate two random numbers, all right? So for one, you can maybe randomize oscillator ones. What are we looking at here? The decimate. See, that changes the flavor a little bit. It's subtle. So leave it at zero. And we can maybe randomize that oscillator one. What are we looking at? Noise, decimate. And I'll randomize it, you know, roughly halfway. So 50% of the way, so 50 points. So just right there, we're getting randomization of that decimate control, which gives us a little bit more realism there. And of course you can add, you know, reverb, stereo delay or if you want to get a little bit more fancy what you can do is it's not all that fancy but uh, you can set it to stereo and basically perform the exact same thing I showed you on the second oscillator or the third oscillator and split those signals in left and right channel and you know just modulate them slightly different to get a more stereo field and hopefully produce an interesting sound so anyways that was just a little quick tutorial showing you how to do a little bit of physical modeling in nano studio 2 thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video